Hi, my name's Jamie Alderton. I'm 27 years of age and I'm from West Sussex in the United Kingdom. I left school at 17 and I joined the British Army where I spent seven years there and went on operations uh, in Iraq and Africa. I did many different sports in the Army, always had a competitive nature. When I left, I didn't have that kind of focus and energy and that's where weight training and bodybuilding came in. I got told by a guy from my gym, you're in pretty good shape, you should uh, enter one of these competitions. So I spent 12 weeks dieting, jumped on stage and I came second out of 13 people and qualified for the British finals. After my first competition I got the bug and I decided to enter another competition which was Muscle Mania. Uh, I competed in the novice category and won the British novice title which I was absolutely chuffed about. I got picked up by a supplement company Grenade um, and they've helped me a hell of a lot with um, all my supplementation and I've met a great bunch of guys as well who are very like-minded who have helped me along my journey. I think it's my actual personality and the fact that if I see I want to do something I, I won't stop until it's done and perfect example when I was a kid I wanted to learn how to do a wheelie so I spent months learning how to do one and finally I did it. That's, that's carried on now into my adult life. When I see that I want to do something, nothing will stop me from achieving that. I'm hoping to do the WBFF muscle model in November in Iceland and I've heard that the UK BFF which is basically part of the IFBB and part of the qualifiers to become an IFBB pro. They've now launched the men's physique class in 2013. So I'm very much looking forward to stepping on stage and hopefully working towards my IFBB pro card in the men's physique category. My main inspiration for staying fit and healthy goes back to my army days. You have to be fit for operations. You never know when you're gonna come under enemy contact and if you're not fit enough to carry someone over your shoulder, and run 100, 200 meters and still, you know, still fight after that, then what good are you to a person? And it's the importance of fitness in life and there's nothing better than, than feeling healthy. I logged on to bodybuilding.com yesterday and one thing I was very, very humbled by is that bodybuilding.com put me in one of their top five most inspiring physiques on their body space, which considering they have millions of members, I think is absolutely brilliant and I'm very chuffed to be a part of that body space community. I like to confuse my muscles all the time. I don't like to stick to my typical three sets, eight repetitions. I like doing high sets, I like doing low sets, I like doing pre-exhaust training, I like doing power training. Muscle confusion is the key to growth because if they're being confused all the time and they're being torn, the muscle fibers, they're gonna grow and you're gonna progress and get a lot bigger. Normally I train um, twice a day, five to six times a week. And the reason I train twice a day is I do my cardio and abs in the morning and I usually do my weight training in the afternoon. I like to do uh, the normal chest and tries, back and biceps, shoulders and traps. I'll also mix it up so I do opposing muscle groups, so I'll do my biceps and triceps. I'll do my chest and back. I like to do separate for my quads and my hands and calves. And then some weeks I like to train them both together. But it's just a case of mixing it up all the time and keeping the body guessing. I will do a free three week rotation generally. What I tend to do is I do a week of pre-exhaustion training, which really puts a lot of um, stress on the muscle. And then I will do a lot of power and strength, which is quite low reps, but then quite high sets. You're getting plenty of rest time, but you're always lifting heavy. And I will also do an endurance week as well. It's not necessarily low weight, it's moderate to heavy weight, but you're just enduring and hitting 12 to 15 reps in that range. You have to listen to your body because you know, if you're not listening to it and you're pushing past, you're gonna be overtraining, you're gonna be causing some damage. So that's one thing that I have to stress to people that you do have to listen to your body. I tend to have two days. I tend to have a full rest day and an active rest day. With my active rest day, I will still do my morning cardio, but I'll lay off the weights. And with my full rest day, like it says, I take a full rest day from training. With me and plateaus, um, as I said before, keeping the muscles guessing, changing your routines all the time, not sticking to the same routines, 
then you, you, you shouldn't be hitting a plateau. You should be out there on the internet, especially places like bodybuilding.com, where you can see the articles, you can see the training programs, different ways of doing things, and then I've, I've looked and thought, I'll give that a try. And nine times out of 10, it's, it's brilliant advice, and I just add it to my training program. The training program that I'm going to be doing today is an upper body overload. Now, this is something that I do use a lot uh, when I'm carb depleting to uh, deplete all the glycogen stores. It's something I've also introduced with this marine day because it's what I used to do when I was in the army. So it's basically keeping all your muscle groups under tension for long periods of time. So what I'm doing today is doing a circuit of biceps, circuit of triceps, circuit of shoulders, circuit of back, and just, and just rotating through different exercises for those muscle groups. I'm doing biceps first because I think it's, it's going to be a lot more painful when your biceps are on fire to do the rest of the exercises because generally what they say you should do is hit your, your big muscle group first because you want that to fail first but in all honesty I want my small muscle groups to fail first before I hit the big ones because it's going to be a lot more relative to what I'm doing because with the Marines there you're going to be using a lot of your arms what with pulling, what with pushing, what with crawling so making sure that they fail first is I believe is going to be a key for basically the Marines Day. I don't like to use the word diet because it, for, for me um, I'm always in shape so it's a lifestyle choice. So for me I'm not restricting the foods that I enjoy for long periods of time. If I have a competition obviously I'm going to change my diet down, I'm going to restrict my carbs, I'm going to be a bit more um, controlled in what I eat but it's all about learning about your body and learning what obviously works for you and a lot of things that have helped me is bodybuilding.com I've gone on there I've looked at different people's diets I've looked at um, different carb sources different protein sources different supplementation and I've tested them out I've given them two or three weeks seeing if it works for me seeing if it doesn't work for me and if it does I keep it if it doesn't I don't use it in a typical day I would eat six to seven meals. I like to keep my food regular uh, and I like my food. I like my food a lot. So, you know, I, I tend to have, I'll have breakfast, I'll have a mid-morning snack, um, there'd be lunch, mid-afternoon snack, I'll have a pre-workout snack and a post-workout meal and then I'd have dinner and then something before I went to bed. So it's just regular intervals of food, little and often. With regards to cheat meals on a competition diet, for me that would mean having more sweet potato or more white potato. Um, when I'm not dieting and competing, I, I'm a big fan of pizza, I'm a big fan of KFC, a big fan of Burger King. I mean, I believe that if you maintain a healthy lifestyle and you're eating clean and you're eating healthily throughout the week, there's nothing that's going to affect you by just having a burger. Supplements can be an important factor in your training because there is, in my eyes, it's that extra 10%. And especially coming from a competitive background, um, when you're on stage, that 10% can be difference between first place and third. I will make sure I always have a whey protein. I'll always have my grenade fat burners with me. I'll have my branch chain amino acids. I'll have my L-glutamine. And the way that I have them is I always do pre-breakfast cardio. On the pre-breakfast cardio, I'll have two grenades and four branch chain amino acids. I'll have them on an empty stomach uh, with my morning um, breakfast and with lunch and dinner, I'll have fish oils. And with my branch chain amino acids, as I said before, I will make sure I always have them pre and post workout. And I'll also make sure that I have my protein pre and post workout. My top three supplements to recommend to someone um, who's starting out in training is definitely get yourself a good whey protein. Definitely get yourself some branch chain amino acids and definitely get yourself a fat burner. So I believe that we're doing the Royal Marines Commando Endurance course. Now I've seen the videos of that and it's pretty intense. And this is why I've changed my program and training up because I know that there's, um, we're gonna be doing weighted runs um, with boots on. It's going to be about six miles, I think and we're going to be having 25 pounds on our back so that's one thing that i've been training to do i've been having a rucksack on going out for an hour at a time uh, just to get used to the weight also i know that there's a lot of dark dingy tunnels in there so there's going to be a lot of crawling involved a lot of pulling involved and that's why i've introduced the upper body circuits 
the fact that I'm getting that time. It's not necessarily repetitions, but it's hitting them muscle groups for long periods of time, you know, 30, 40 minutes, different muscle groups, to get your body used to using the different muscles for long periods of time. If you want to know more about my diet, training and supplementation, or you want to ask me a question on them, hit me up on Body Space, Jay Alderton 2001, and I'll get your message and I'll be sure to message you back. One thing that I enjoy doing is helping others achieve their goals. Go, go, go.